Kevin Fitzgerald, and we are at Fitzgerald Gallery in West Hampton Beach, Long Island, New York. Great. And how long has the gallery been around? I opened the gallery in 1981. Uh, I opened it in Sag Harbor and was there for my first two and a half years in business for myself. Uh, and then we moved the gallery here in 1983 and been here ever since. Wow. And you work here with your wife? Yeah, we work together every day five, mostly six days a week. Uh, we still uh, get along quite well, <laughs> remarkably, to everyone's surprise, but uh, yeah, it's been good. Good. And how many different artists do you have in this room? Are they local? Are they based? Uh -huh. Well, uh, most of what's hanging in the gallery is are by local artists, or regional at least, if not specifically West Hampton Beach, they're part of Long Island. Uh, a lot of the graphics and such are by a variety of different artists, works that I've bought over the years uh, to resell. Uh, but basically there's probably a dozen core artists in the gallery on a daily basis. Got it. And you have oil paintings, you have sculptures, what other... Uh, all media represented, uh, oils, watercolors, uh, lithographs, etchings, aqua tints, mono prints, uh, some sculpture designs, uh, just about anything you can do in the art world. I've got a, some of it represented here. Mm. Uh, Who are some of your favorite artists? Well, the main favorite of mine and most successful artist is Marjorie Gosnell Qua, which is her married name. Uh, she signs, is known mostly as Marjorie Gosnell. She's from Remsenburg. I've represented her for 20 years. And uh, she's a very uh, bright, cheerful artist and reflects that atmosphere that is here on the east end of Long Island. You know, just a very sunny, upbeat mm -hmm. uh, personality to her paintings. Mm -hmm. And a lot of beach scenes and kind of scenes from out here, which... Pretty much that's the subject matter that people are looking for, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to cater to that. So it's, yeah, it's a great deal of local scenery mm -hmm. and a lot to do about the beach. Yeah. And a large part of your business here is framing. That's been the mainstay for the 36 years we've been in business is picture framing, which uh, I uh, studied and apprenticed uh, to be a picture framer for about nine years prior to opening my own business. And uh, that's probably 80% of my business mm -hmm. in terms of monetary mm -hmm. is uh, revenue from picture frame. Mm -hmm. And it's both my wife and I, and we do all the work here on premise. Uh, very little of anything gets sent out to a, you know, outside party to do. Mm -hmm. It just would have to be either way, way too big for me or, uh, you know, a level of difficulty that's beyond me, which there isn't many things that, that are beyond me in terms of picture framing. Mm -hmm. so. And you cut the glass? You yeah, we cut the glass. Uh, I cut uh, the molding out of lengths that I buy in 10-foot sticks. Uh, I join it on a cassis underpinner here right on the end of my workbench. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary does all the matting, all the fitting. Mm -hmm. uh, so as a team, uh, we cover all ends of the process. Wow. Yeah. How many pieces do you work on in like a typical week? Could it range? Yeah, it can range uh, greatly because of size. Mm -hmm. uh, one piece could occupy my whole day mm -hmm. if it's a really large piece involving plexiglass and fitting it dust free into a large formatted frame. Mm -hmm. uh, other days we'll do 15 or 20 pieces. Small, uh, that's about the maximum amount of frames that I can make in a given day is 15 to 20 frames. That's cutting and joining them. Wow. Uh, also providing the glass where needed Wow. But then it's a whole other day, usually, to fit the artwork. That's the most time-consuming part of the project. Mm -hmm. Cutting and joining the frame is pretty straightforward and easy. Cutting a piece of glass is pretty straightforward. But then cutting the mat, 
and then putting it all together into the frame, dust free and perfect, is, can take a long time. And I'm sure you're a perfectionist about it. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> kind of, you have to be a perfectionist to be a good framer. Mm -hmm. Uh, nobody's going to want a big piece of dirt in their frame or something that's crooked or mm -mm. it's so just got to be right. do you generally eyeball things or do you always measure? Is it well, right? the, the rule is uh, measure it, measure it again, yeah. and then measure it one more time yeah. <laughs> and then cut it or fit it or do what's the next step. Yeah, and you have to do everything three times to get mm -hmm. it assuredly right. Mm -hmm. uh, hate to make mistakes. They can be costly. <laughs> and you really service like from people from New York City to out here, right? Very much, yeah. A lot of the uh, residents here are seasonal. Mm -hmm. uh, also have dwellings in New York City, mm -hmm. some in Florida or other areas. And uh, I do framing for all their locations, which is keeps me extra busy. And what is your company website? Uh, the company website is uh, FitzgeraldGallery.com. Uh, it just gives you a little bit of background on the gallery, and I provide a walking tour of uh, the gallery currently, who's showing, and a little bit about each artist. Great. And so people should come to West Hampton Beach to find you? Yeah, I'm here in West Hampton Beach on Main Street. Um, the first storefront in town on the north side of Main Street if you're coming in from the west end or I'm in the last storefront in town if you're coming in from the east end. Uh, we're here year-round. We're closed for the month of February uh, but otherwise we're here Tuesday through Saturday 11 to 5 sometimes on Sunday but uh, we're very accessible. Into the frame so that it can be hung and it goes one third down, so it would be five and a quarter. But I should really check and make sure I'm doing it right and not upside down. I'm doing it right. I have done that. <laughs>